We're looking at the opener on a John Deere 50 series. This is actually two and three quarter inch wide by 16 inches in diameter gauge. You've got sharp disc blades as we've already discussed. The next part is obviously the gauge wheel. And obviously the Hi, I'm Phil Needham with Needham Ag Technologies. Today we're going to talk about seed boots on a John Deere single disc opener. And we're going to be referring to the 50, 60 and 90 series seed boots. And this is a 50 series seed boot. First thing we need to be aware of is the condition of the seed boot. We need to look at where they wear. I get a lot of growers, they call and they say, is the seed boot war or not? Or we look at, a seed, uh, at an air seeder or a box drill and guys want to know if the seed boots are worn enough to be replaced. So in most examples, I really would like to see a grower get a new seed boot. This is a right and left 50 series. And just compare them. Compare the new boot to the old boot and look for wear in different areas. The areas to be aware of are certainly here at the bottom at the back. This generally wears paper thin in this area and then it starts to wear upwards in this area. Once the seed boot starts to wear upwards in the back bottom corner, then they need to be replaced. Otherwise seeds will escape out of the seed slot regardless whether it's a box drill or an air seeder. Other areas to be looking for is the mounting holes in the top of the seed boot. As these mounting holes in the boot the arm that the boot mounts to and the bolt start to wear, then this whole seed boot starts to wiggle backwards and forwards and seeds can escape from underneath the seed boot above the soil surface as we're illustrating here. So any up down play should be eliminated. And we've got a way of uh, fixing that and we'll talk about that in a minute. The other part of seed boot wear, it's often a good indication from a point of view of the health of the machine. You can look at where the wear exists on a seed boot and get a little bit better handle how much soil engagement or how well that boot is engaging the soil or, or moving across the surface of the soil because this boot came off the same drill as this one. Both ranks were used at the same time, one wasn't lifted, but it's actually quite common to see some seed boots with a lot more wear than others. And if you look at the newer drills like the 1990 CCS, that has a hopper in the middle at the top that either holds 70 or 100 bushels depending on the width. You're looking at four to 6,000 pounds of seed weight in the hoppers plus the weight of the hopper in the middle section without any weight transfer to the wings. So this often results in more seed boot wear because you've got more down pressure on every opener in the middle section compared to the outside. So be looking for that. Also be looking for less wear in the wheel tracks. That's generally a symptom that the openers are not pressing down as much in the wheel tracks, hence there's less wear. This is a 60 series seed boot. We've never liked the 60 series seed boot. It was only in uh, production for maybe two or three years and then it was replaced by the 90 series. A lot of growers found that the seed placement wasn't nearly as good with the 60 series as it is with the 90 or it was with the 50 series. Another drawback of the 60 series boot is the seed tab. It doesn't work very well holding seeds in the seed slot and as a result of that, that's another reason to replace it. And it can't be replaced with a thicker seed tab because there isn't room within this housing. The other downside of the 60 series boot is the angle or the trajectory of the seed that leaves the seed boot. It actually fires it as much sideways as it does backwards, which results in more seeds being fired out of the seed slot. The other downside of the 60 series two-piece boot is guys are not replacing the top half, they're just replacing the bottom half that wears, and as a result of that, the holes in the seed boot at the top become worn. So we have a bushing kit that fixes all three sources of wear but on these, if you use some of the other competitive kits on the market that just install a bushing into the arm, it doesn't fix the holes in the, in the seed boot. So we have a bushing kit that fixes all three sources of wear, wear in the arm, wear in the bolt, and wear in the seed boot itself. So if you're changing to a 90 series boot from a 60, or you're changing out seed boots on a 90 series, we do have extended wear seed boots available from Needham Ag. They're very similar to the OEM seed boot 
except we have beefed up the lugs at the top of the seed boot. We've beefed these up from a uh, rigidity perspective to incorporate the bushing kit that we have that's actually patented, okay? And our bushing kit is actually pretty simple. The holes come pre-drilled in the seed boots. So we got five eighths inch holes with a five eighths inch bushing. And these bushings basically insert into the seed boot and we pull them tight against the arm, the mounting lugs on the arm with a grade nine bolt. And then the seed boot pivots on the bushings. So not only are we putting bigger bushings in the seed boot than the bolt, they're actually further apart to hold it more rigid which is a really good system. So this is our seed boot, also incorporates our vanilla seed tab that does a much better job retaining seeds in the seed slot than the factory seed tabs. So for more information on our planter attachments, visit needhamag.com. You can also visit YouTube and go to our Needham Ag channel. Thanks for watching.